the game for the eye for eye. March, April, always wet, windy and wild, but uh, we're lovely to this soon be summer. Right, I'm going to try a bacon sandwich. Uh, I've got a drizzle of honey on this, uh, some pepper as well, crepe pepper. We'll try this. Honey bacon. Try it in the air fryer, eh? Lovely job, eh? Just had a van pull up by side of me, first one I've seen for a long, long time. That's Donna. She's from the Isle of Man. Had a chat to her this morning. Lovely job, eh? Right, let's try this in the air fryer. Try five minutes. Try five minutes at 190. That should be done. Have a look in a bit. Lovely. Free cooking. There you go. Honey roast bacon in the air fryer. Lovely. Right, oh, let's put a bit of sauce on there. Lovely job, eh? This guy's having a dinner. Right, let's crack on with the day. Right, just down the road from my little camp here, this is a, a barking house. Now, there's quite a few of these on the island. Uh, it's where they used to uh, preserve the sails, the ropes, and all the nets of the local fishermen uh, during the uh, uh, winter months, like, and uh, to keep them ready for the season. And they were immersed, they were soaked in a sewage known as Kutch. You can see two big steel barrels. I've seen quite a few of those barrels on the island, those iron tubs. Interesting. Oh, absolutely fiddling down our iron again. This is a six day on the trot now. Not being able to do a lot out the van filming and everything, but uh, we're getting a bit done. But uh, I thought to do a bit of washing. I'm washing all my uh, woolen socks. Nice hot water with a bit of a softener. A bit of washing. Powder. Give those a good soak. Quite hot water it is. Uh, I usually wash them in the stream, but uh, it's bloody piddling down out there today, so I thought I'd do them in the van. Uh, well, I've only got one pair of socks left, I've got about uh, 10 pairs which I alternate washing them whenever. But, uh, you have to wash in the van if you can. I don't, I don't use these, uh, these washing machine things, they're too expensive. You're talking about bloody really 8 quid or something, 10 quid to do a wash and dry. Just do it in the van. Just keep on top of it, that's all. Don't let it pile up and, you know, if you want a couple of t-shirts done, just stick them in the sink. Bit of hot water, bit of fab fabric softener. Bit of, uh, bit of powder in there. Put a bit more uh, softener in there and a bit more hot water and let them soak. A little bit. Nice bit of uh, fabric conditioner as well. for a little bit now. Lovely, and uh, I'll hang it up. Uh, I've got my fishing rod up here. I don't know if you can see, folks. Yeah, you can see my fishing rod before it's up there. That's my fishing rod there. I use that all washing line. I hang all my socks on there, all the while on my fishing rod. Uh, plus, I've got the uh, bathroom is there as well. That's my drying room. I've got a, a, a drying pull-out uh, cord rack in there as well. So I hang the clothes in there, except it's quite warm in there. But it's uh, nice and warm in the van. and a good scrub. I'll rinse them out when I've finished and squeeze them all dry and hang them up. That smells nice. Lovely! Bit of housework in the van. You've got to keep on top of it. You can't let it pile up because you're going to need a washing machine then. As I say, if you do it every uh, few weeks, if you wash the... because I tend to wear shirts for a long time. Because I'm out in the wild, you know, I don't get bloody dirty, it's all clean fresh air, so you don't get as dirty as you do when you're working, you know, in normal uh, city life, you know, you haven't got all the dirty fumes stinking you up and people smoking around you and whatever. So your clothes don't get that dirty, plus I wear dark clothes as well, I always wear dark clothes because I don't show up the crap so much, do they? And uh, every few weeks I wash my t-shirts, uh, my trousers, my socks, my undies and all that, lovely job, Lee. And uh, of course, I've stripped down and washed myself every day. If not in the van, it's out in the uh, wee burns in the rivers and the locks. Lovely. And I have a hot shower once a month as a treat. Only once a month because of water and energy. So I only do it once a month, have a hot shower. But uh, every day to strip down, you know. Woohoo, woohoo. Catch you later. Oh, afternoon in the van. Another van jail day. Bloody hell, April, eh? Nothing but wet and bloody windy. It's been like this for days. So we're not getting out a lot. 
I'm at one of my old camps here. Uh, now I've been walking through these trails here at the back of Christine, down the uh, Glen here, and I noticed uh, some tracks here coming up the back here, right over the back there, just in front of this tree. I noticed some tracks, uh, they were deer tracks, uh, red deer tracks, I believe. Uh, plus plus uh, one or two other little tracks as well, mice and whatever. And uh, just down there, oh, there's a little bloody light on this bloody camera, it's flicked in the window. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, turn the light off now. Uh, yeah, just down there, you see those uh, birch tree, little copies of birch trees now. Uh, I've put my trial camera on this tree here. Uh, around about four foot off the floor, pointing that way, because the trail comes through here. The deer trail that I found. Uh, it looked quite fresh, uh, so I put my camera out there. It's been out there last night, and uh, I had a look this morning. I haven't looked at the camera yet. I've left the camera on the tree. I'm going to leave it up there for another night. But uh, I had a look on the trail, and there was a fresh track. So hopefully the camera that's on that tree there will have picked last night's up. I'll put a bit more bait down for tonight, put the camera slightly higher, because it was on the ground, it was quite low before. I'll put it slightly higher, about another six inches higher. So it's about 18 inches off the ground now. Uh, you probably can't see the camera. Uh, it's on that tree there, around right about there, that height, looking down the trail. So uh, as I say, I saw some fresh trails there. I believe it's a small uh, red deer um, trail track. Uh, so we'll have the camera out for another night and we'll have a look in the morning. Keep trying to keep myself amused. Uh, I go out for little walks, but it's a bloody bugger coming back with bloody wet clothes and drying them all down. And Sky don't like the rain much. <laughs> She's happy there. I've done a bit of washing today, as you saw earlier. Bit of chew chores in the van. Saw my socks up there, hanging on my fishing rod. <laughs> oh, van life out, don't you love it? Real van life. Right, we're just chilling out. Just going to watch a bit of a TV tonight and uh, I'll do a bit more editing as well. So, lovely. This is the trials of van life in the winter. Uh, I do love a winter van life. Yeah, I do love my winter van life, and I really do. But uh, you get to that time of year, especially April. And... Uh, when it's wet and you've come to the end of three months of wintering and uh, you come into April you start to get a bit of warmer weather the uh, chill's gone the frosts are gone but in comes the wet and the rain and the winds and they usually last for a few bloody weeks so it can get you down a little bit towards the end of winter but uh, I don't mind it's uh, it's uh, you know I just want to get out there filming and uh, do me uh, adventures so uh, but uh, it'll soon be past. We'll soon, summer will soon be here and the rains will go, hopefully. But it's always wet in Scotland anyway, <laughs> even in the summer. All uh, right, so I'll crack on with the day. Uh, we'll settle in for the evening. I've just had my dinner. Nice, uh, just fry some potatoes up and uh, a bit of mince meat. Uh, mine have, uh, might be that time. Might be, is it Guinness time? It's always bloody Guinness time. <laughs> Yeah, it's about half seven now, so it'll be dark in about another half an hour. I'll go for a walk before uh, we tuck in for the night, put the curtains up and the blinds up and settle in, get all nice and cosy. Yes, I've had enough of this rain and winds. It's doing my head in a bit. It's been over a week now. There's only brief spells you can get out, brief little spells you can get out the van. I need to give the van, I'm looking forward to giving the van a good spring clean as well, because everything's dusty, the sky is airs everywhere. I need to get all my uh, bed linen washed as well. Uh, have a nice spring clean as I do once all the rains go. Hey yo, that's van life. It's like any other life, really. It's really. like living in a house, you know. When it's piddling down around, you can't do a lot. But uh, at least I've got those views outside, which make it so, so, so bloody special. All right, we'll crack on. I'll get those cameras in the morning. And fingers crossed, we'll have some exciting close footage of the red deer. Looking forward to that one. Whoops, a day, sorry. nearly dropped you. Hang on, two tuppence. Uh, so uh, hopefully we've got some nice close images of the red deer. I think it was a young, a young thorn, I'm sure it was. But uh, we'll have a look in the morning, eh? We'll have a look in the morning. 
now. Let's get some Guinness. <laughs> Today the winds have stopped a little bit, which is nice. It's a little bit brighter as well, no rain. Uh, I've just got my trial camera in. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, card off there. I've got this card reader for my iPhone. Brilliant! Please skip these. I don't read any card. Just plug in your iPhone and update any data from your cameras, your trial cameras, whatever. You can upload straight to your iPhone with the lightning port on there. Lovely job, like Just slot your SD card in there. Text a small one or big ones, micros. Lovely, right? We'll see what's on this uh, camera, eh? From the trial camera. I saw footprints there, so we've got some it. Fingers crossed. Whoopee bloody doo doo, we've got some red deer close up on the camera. I'm in night camera at last, got something different from mice and bloody rats. So I've had thousands of mice and rats on my trial cameras, they're all over the bloody place, especially mice. But we've got a couple of lovely calves there that came in, weren't they cute? Uh, nice and close up as well, uh, really chuffed with that. Uh, hopefully, I can get some stags, some hinds later in the uh, season uh, on the island, but I'm really chuffed with that. Hope you enjoyed that cracking. Right, let's crack on with the day. What are we going to do? Let's do some cooking or something? A bit of Van Tucker? Van Tucker! Can you hear it? Rain again. <laughs> Bloody piddling down again. I think it's rained every day for the last uh, week and a half at least. Anyway, let's get some bloody dinner on. Uh, another air fryer. Uh, quickie. Uh, I've just got some uh, chicken, bird's eye chicken, crispy chicken, lovely jubbly. Just gonna have these on a, a sandwich with some uh, garlic mayo. Gonna pop them in the top griddle plate of the air fryer on there, lovely. I'll just uh, dabble them in a, a bit of uh, rapeseed oil. <clears throat> Gives that extra flavour as well, I do love rapeseed oil. It's about a fiver a bottle, right? But uh, I do love to get, get a good quality rapeseed oil. Lovely, lovely stuff. Absolutely delightful. Just going to brush a bit of that on with my uh, fingers. There we go. Just dabble it a little bit. Not too much. Uh, I've got a lining at the bottom of my uh, air fryer. Stop it getting dirty because uh, we don't want to do no washing up, do we? That's a beauty about an air fryer. No bloody washing up, just flip those over, that. put these in a sandwich and have some uh, garlic sweet chilli mayo on the top as well. Nice quick, nice quick meal, these shouldn't take long, they're only thin. So uh, that's me, uh, me oil, just a uh, little bit of whisper of salt, lovely jubbly, sea salt and some nice cracked uh, pepper. Right, and in the air fryer she goes. Uh, pop her in there. Just turn me uh, all powers on. Where are we? Find me bloody plug. Plug that in. Turn me all powers on. 
Turn it on to IC. Boom. Right, and we'll do this for, uh, I'll put this in for seven minutes. Seven minutes is about 180. Lovely jubilee. And that's drawing 930 watts out of the uh, power station. So we'll give that about four minutes. Probably use from about five, eight percent of my power station, which is all good. Put everything away. I'll get some nice crusty bread ready. Uh, no, I've got no crust to it, it has to be normal bread. Some normal bread, just a nice nice sandwich with a bit of garlic. Sweet chilli mayo on top. Lovely, catching a bit when it's done. What a miserable bloody day, eh? It's miserable out there, Sky. Oh, devil eyes again. Piddling down the road. Uh, right, let's just have a look. We're going to turn it over. Just pop it out, it'll turn off automatically. All oh, those look nice. Uh, I'm just going to flip them over so they get nice and brown on top as well. Lovely jubbly. All right, just give that a couple more minutes. Back in she goes. Bish bash bosh, and away she goes. Right, be back at you in a bit. Right, uh, that's about three minutes. Pop it out. Ooh. Oh, that look, those look lovely. I'll show you those guys. Try not to touch it, it's very hot. There we go, look at those. Ooh. To make a nice sandwich. It's what you call a sandwich. This is two pieces of chicken breast, battered, crispy, delicious. Just whack that on there. This is what you call a bloody uh, a man sandwich. <laughs> pop that on there. Just put that out there. Uh, I've got some. Uh, just put a bit of that on there. Tomato. Lovely jubilee. This very thinly sliced tomato. Nice. Pop that on there like that. That'll do. Clean up as we go along. A bit of salt. On those sweet tomatoes. A bit of my uh, uh, pepper as well, sorry. I do love my pepper. Plenty of that on there. Lovely. Starving and a bit of a garlic uh, sweet chili mayo, just a wee trickle. Along. Pop that back in the uh, air fryer, just unplug that. That's only used 8% that's used. Brilliant, brilliant. Free power in the air fryer. Right, I'll just show you this before I get it down my gobble. Have a slurp of tea. I'll show you my, uh, my quick meal tonight. This guy's just finished her dinner. Oh, it's mucky out there, look. It's mucky, it's wet, it's damp. At least it's not windy. And here we go, guys. Park right up against the tree, look. And here's my tonight's supper. Now, does that look bloody delicious? Crispy, battered chicken breast, garlic mayo, chili sauce, tomatoes, cracked salt and pepper. That's a sandwich. Lovely jubbly. Right, get this down my neck, watch a bit of TV tonight. Lovely, and we'll settle in for the evening. We'll pull all the curtains shut, and we'll tuck in for the night, and just relax. Oh, it's a bloody rain. But I'll tell you what, April's been so wet, mind you, most of winter's been really wet. Anyway, let's have a go at this uh, Sarno. Nice big chunky slice of bloody chicken in each, each half. Lovely. Give this a go. Oh, that is good. <laughs> That's Boston. That is absolutely delicious. Nice crispy. Chicken's nice and moist as well. Got that lovely sauce on there. Plenty of seasoning. Oh. Air fry cooking. Five, six minutes. Cracking meal. Catch you later, guys.
first couple of days in my life in the rain. <laughs> uh, it's not all glamour in van life. But I still love it though. Even sat here in the rain, it's pouring down the rain now. Absolutely chucking down the rain out there again. But uh, that was lovely, getting the doers as well. Got some rabbits on the end, so we might have Van Tucker rabbit next time. <laughs> a bit of rabbit stew, that'd be nice. No, I wouldn't, uh, uh, I wouldn't take down a rabbit. I used to, used to in my old days, uh, wild camping in the tent. Rabbits and squirrels, I'd take anything to eat. But uh, you know, if you're desperate, you need to know the arts just in case. Just in case that day comes when we all have to fend for ourselves. You never know. You never know what's around the corner, eh? But it's uh, lovely. Uh, right, uh, I've moved on now for, from that little camp I was at. Uh, I'm heading back up towards the uh, Sanox end of the uh, island, the, uh, the, the northwest. The beautiful part of the island. Some fantastic camps up there. And uh, before I get up there, I do pop back to Broderick, one of my own, one of my old camps. And uh, I go and meet an old friend of mine, which I did on a video a few months ago. We got a few far off clips of my friend talking about the otters. We'll get nice and personal and close up to the otters in the next video. So I hope you join me on that one. That's lovely. Uh, a big thanks to all the lovely super chats. Really guys, from the bottom of my heart, from me and Sky, the super chats are buy me a coffee, the Sky treats, and they really rock our day. So really do. And I love you all to pieces. Love everybody to pieces, all the folks that are watching everything. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share of the channel as well. Let's get this channel rocking. We've still not cracked 5,000 yet. Oh, it's bloody stumbling. It just won't get to that 5K. I need about 40 odd to go, but it's it's not moving at all lately. So share the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your mum, your dad, your gran, the next door neighbour, the postman, Amazon delivery driver. Tell everybody. Go to YouTube. Check out Country Van Life. Come and see what this brummy gets up to on an island remote off-grid living loving life loving you guys thanks we'll see you on the next video otters we got the otters next time nice and close to that